Big Buck World, yeah. Big, Big Buck World. world yeah. <laughs> Finish him! Smashing. Hello, everybody, Joe Pass. Hello, Smash on another fantastic tale of smashing and bashing. It's slow motion. And in this tale, another arcade one up. Big Buck World, yeah! Big, Big Buck World, World. World. Okay, Arcade 1 up for the man garage, because my man cave got too filled up, I had to start putting him in the garage. But Big Buck World, that was another classic. I remember I was out cruising my friends when we were at that street scene, souping up modified cars, out fast and furious, racing around, looking for the next thrill, yeah, and then we'd stop at this place called Sunsplash, and uh, they had this huge arcade, and I'd always go to my normal, so like regular, like, you know, the regular arcades that you'd go to. Right, that makes sense. My regulars, the games that I play regularly, and Buckworld was that right there, because I like shooting things. Fast forward to now, Smash and still likes to shoot things. I actually do a little hunting too, but I'm tired of bringing home a cooler full of ice. And for all you hunters out there, you know what that means. Bring them back a cooler full of ice. Because hunting is pretty hard. Seriously though, I do do a little hunting right there. Now it's not just about like just the shooting and everything. For me, uh, yeah, of course you can't get around just like shooting animals and eating them and stuff and catching them and harvesting and all that. But for me, most of all, like I don't know how everyone else is, but it's for the experience, the thrill of the experience. Not like the shooting, but the actual hiking part of it, hanging out with your friends. It's like humping it with all the packs and everything, testing gear out and stuff, and just getting that cardio up and that exercise and seeing old mother nature. Because more chances are not like of being messing around, but being serious, you really don't catch anything. It's really hard. So you end up just really getting a really good workout and sometimes you could camp over and stuff and uh, you're just hanging out basically, yeah. Anyways, enough talk, let's get into it and quickie the quickie, na 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 na. 57 and 3 Suron, yeah! Big box of toys, loot. Alright, quickie the quick, now, yeah! Alright, there's everything outside the box and I gotta tell you about this one. It was just a pain and a smashing ass. I mean, just to open it. This thing had like stupid amounts of tape, more than the average arcade one up, and it had glue and everything. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I, I still got it open. And the second thing is the way to pack it. They always pack things differently, and assemblies are always just a little bit different. For the most part, they're the same, but this one um, is just probably going to be different, obviously, because of the guns. But uh, the way they packed it compared to, like, say, my uh, last one, my Legacy Street Fighter 2. Legacy Street Fighter 2, they packed it like just perfect, and this one, just like. Man, like even the screen, it's just like it was shoved in there with a bunch of wood and everything. It wasn't like all separated in nice foam like the Legacy Street Fighter. I don't know. Speaking of the old Legacy, don't let me down. That's a good one right there. Anyways, here's the monitor, the brain, the whole operation right there. You got all your panels, instructions, bolts, power supply right there. Uh, more panels right here. And then, of course, that's like the centerpiece right there is the guns, the light guns. Those are cool. And then a the little banner for the top right there. And this is cool. I like the center speaker um, setup. I think it's really cool like that. But the only thing is it looks like it's, it is a single speaker. I don't know if it's better than their other previous model single speakers. I hope so, being it's just a single speak speaker um, and then we got this uh, the side shots right here look at that artwork right there with the main panels all right so I'm excited to get this one together right there being it that has that unique action with the little light rifles right there and that's pretty cool and this one does is loaded with different variations of that buck hunting game right there which we'll show later we'll go through it later anyways we're gonna quick it quick it now and get it constructed na -na 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 -na. Boom, buck world. there it is all put together and everything
All right, so yeah, this one was a tiny bit different in the sense that uh, it didn't have any actual controls like the joysticks or anything. Obviously, this is a shooter-based game right here, and I like to look at that center um, speaker right there. And it, it does have enough power for sound, but it kind of I just found myself kind of having to turn up the volume a few notches more versus like uh, my other dual speaker setups right there. But uh, it's all right; it does okay. And then plaster on his beautiful artwork right here along with the beautiful ladies you'll see on here later I love this game this is such a fun game because of buck hunter buck hunter open season I think those are just one in different modes because it basically just gives you two selections when you get there you'll see that in a bit and then you got big buck safari big buck outback Fire it up Nailed it Nailed it I see it back way. You gotta love that safari music right there. Basic information right there and game controls right there. It's pretty much just a run and shoot and gun type of game right there. Matter of minimum recommend distance. In case the missile's 15 inches, I like to shoot two feet away. Alright, you press that start button here. You get the two basic menus right here. And then you're gonna wanna pull out the gun right here and the sheath right here, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. Turn down our volume. I guess I lied. Made me look like a liar. That center speaker right there does do a pretty decent job. I just had it cranked up. But here's a look at the light gun right here. Pump to reload. Basically, you can turn it off in settings so you don't have to pump like a shotgun shoot. You can just shoot it with the trigger only if you want. But I like the pumping action right here. Um, that's pretty much a gun. Then you got the orange version right there. And I'll talk about the guns real quick right off the box. The green one worked really good. Had no problems on it. But the orange one, just because it was orange, <laughs> hunter orange, right? It didn't work right away, so I had to mess with the cablings. I had to like unhook it and hook it back in on both ends, and then it worked fine. And I was able to calibrate these guns, and they do shoot pretty accurate right there. All right, let's crank up the volume right here. There's a main menu. Like I know it's like four games, but it's basically just two games in sense where you're just gonna top and the bottom. You basically got Safari or you got regular old Buck Season Hunter Pro right there. And you're gonna go with regular Big Buck Hunter Pro right there. Just aim and shoot. It takes you right there. You get the two different modes right there. You get Big Buck Shootout and Big Buck Hunter right there. One to four players, two players to competition. Just gonna go on the left hand side. Big Buck Hunter, yeah. Uh, choose number of players, do number one right here, right away, it's going to do one track, you get so many options with this right now, you can choose, I'm going to go with the good old white tail because I always catch up the cooler full of ice every time I go out. Since this is a newer game, it does have better graphics and I like that, and you also notice my favorite part pop up and I'll point in a second right here, Let's skip through this. That's my favorite part right there. I love that part. And they look good too. This is like just being a newer game. Everything, all the graphics are more modern versus like the other versions of Arcade 1 Up where they're based on older games. Look at this right here. And, oh no! That's why I get back the cooler full of ice when I go out. Got a cat. Uh, oh, shot him. That's gonna be a wounded armor. Bad, bad. Alright, then you can go to the main menu where you hold both these two buttons down, the green and the orange. And that takes you to the main menu right there. Uh, from here you just kind of pump or shoot your way to the different way. You can do like gun calibration right there. Um, I recommend you keep this on though, Big Buck Girls. Otherwise we're just going to want to go ahead and hit exit. And I think that should take us to the main menu. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So there we go. This time we're going to try the Safari version. Just hit the green button or the orange button. Aim for the bottom. And the good day, man. You know the difference in the boy. I love the voiceovers on this one. The best part of this one, too, is it has a lot of girls in it, too. Yeah. We'll go with the number one just because it's just me or my uh, one track just for one. And then what do we want to hunt right here? Let's go for some wildebeest. Yeah. Big old wildebeest. So it's pretty much the same way, except you're in a different uh, area. You're in a different continent. You're in Africa. Yeah, I'm not. That was Jamaican. See if we can skip through all this. All right. Favorite part of the game, right there. Disappeared. They need to show them longer. They don't, though. And then you just pick the terrain right here. You want to go up to go upper left. And we're gonna shoot some kudu. Oh, he goes down, yeah. Birdie. Got another one, yeah. Giraffe. Giraffe's too big. 
and that's pretty much Safari. Okay, again, so pretty much you just want to hold those two buttons down. It takes you to this menu right here where you can click calibrate. I highly recommend keeping the big book girls on. Yeah. Uh, other than that, high scores, a bunch of other garbage. Otherwise, it's going to default to exit, and that's what you want to hit. Let's go ahead and hit the button again. And that should take you back to the main game. And you press the button again, being the one play button, which is green or orange. And it takes you to the main menu where you just aim and you shoot and you play and you choose which one you want. That's it in a nutshell. Here, real quick, I just want to explain my one and only gripe with this really fun game right here is the orange shooter right here. I don't know if mine's just defective or it's just a flaw in the game alone, but every time I like turn it on for the first time or fire it up or switch guns, it's like I have to reconnect this and connect it just so I can get response from the gun to the screen right there otherwise it just won't work at all but once I like reconnect everything disconnect and reconnect it seems to work but it's just an annoyance that I don't like all right so what about this box right here we don't want this box this box gets smashed choose your weapon <laughs> Welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed that smashing action with getting rid of the box. Now it's two smaller pieces so I can throw it away easier. But uh, otherwise, uh, back to this Buck Hunt uh, Safari combo right here. I, I was playing it off cam. I love this game. It's probably like my funnest one uh, out of all my cabins right now. I don't know. Maybe because it's different. I get to shoot things on there. It's just cool. And plus the updated graphics being that it's based off of a later game or a newer game and those hot mamacitas on there. Uh, but you all let me know what you think about it downstairs in the comments below. The only thing that I gripe about is that second, like that orange um, shooter, that orange rifle. It just, I don't know what it is. I have to keep connected and reconnected. It's not too bad of a big deal, but you shouldn't have to do that. So I'm gonna try fiddling with it and resetting it again and maybe reaching out to the manufacturer, but it uh, depends on how not lazy I am. I'm just dealing with it. But y'all let me know if you know anything about it. Now it stands in the comments below. Until next tale, smash your bell, smash your thumb, subscribe if you haven't had to already. Cause we are not bringing home just a cooler full of ice with this hunt. Smashing out. <laughs>